Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, I have two inequality equations to solve. What do you do first? The, on the left, 5t plus 2 is less than or equal to negative 17. Let's go ahead and solve for t by subtracting 2 from each side. 5t less than or equal to negative 19. Divide each side by 5. And t is less than or equal to Negative 19 divided by 5 is 3 and 4 fifths negative. Now notice that we did not change the inequality symbol because in the last step when we were multiplying or dividing it was by a positive number, positive 5. On the right, we want to again subtract 2 to solve. That leaves me with negative 5t less than or equal to negative 19, divide each side by negative 5, and that again gives me my answer of, uh, in this case it would be a positive 3 and 4 fifths, but because I am multiplying or dividing in my last step by a negative number, I have to change the inequality symbol, so that would be greater than or equal to. Now, try to write these on the number line and notice the difference. On the left, where t is less than or equal to negative 3 and 4 fifths, I need to locate that point on the graph and make sure it is a solid dot because I am including that number in my answer with the equal bar on the bottom. And if I'm going less than, I am coloring it in to the left and it goes forever in a left negative direction. Make sure you write the large arrowhead on the left side. On the other equation I have t greater than or equal to 3 and 4 fifths. This is a positive 3 and 4 fifths. Include that number, black solid dot, color it to the right, showing it goes forever with a large arrowhead. Good job. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.